it's a lot of people I can't today do that, that has herpes. It's a lot of people that's dealing with that. It's a lot mm-hmm. of people that's yeah. dealing with that. Because so should they quit trying to date people when they're single, or should they just remain lonely if you, if you have for you know, the rest of their life? Are uncurable. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Don't get that. You so just give up. I give up dating. No, I'm not give up dating find somebody else with herpes there's some fine ass people out there with herpes there's different ways to date there's many ways you don't have to necessarily lay down with someone no i mean because even though herpes yeah i do not have herpes i am not dating i have needs so i will not no but but say he tell you like you know i'm responsible i i know not to you know how i know how not to pass it I know it's when I have an outbreak, it's I won't, a, like, a, you know what I mean? No, like, would you? If you're having an outbreak and you're that horny and you no. drunk or something and you have an outbreak while you drunk and you come over here and be like, hey, How many times do you put it in her while she's sleeping? What? Rape culture. How many times have you put it in <laughs> when her sleeping? Oh, my God, don't answer that question. Please don't. Exactly. <laughs> herpes. You get what I'm saying? What? Exactly. That's the type of shit that can happen when you date somebody with herpes. Uh, you can be sleeping. And y'all both could be drunk, and he's like, yo, I just want some of that ass. Uh, you know what I mean? I, I, I know, but say, like, are basically, no. you're talking to someone on the audience, somebody got herpes that's watching it. I'm sorry. What okay. would you say to them? Like, should they continue dating? I wouldn't, you... I, I wouldn't say stop dating. I would say find somebody with your exact same disease because y'all two can pass it along all y'all want to and y'all still will be great no but that's but not don't give it to somebody no, else see, for them to you're not that understanding that just, see the way herpes work right. basically you only can catch them when they have an outbreak right when they have an outbreak and you can control the outbreak with medicine when they have an outbreak they know mm-hmm. how to be responsible with their herpes yeah. and all of that There's stuff different strands so if you would you know. take the time to learn Educate so yourself educate about. yourself about someone I mean, that you like that has herpes and see if you're willing to, you know, even try that guy are you out. Me you myself. You know? Yeah, are that's exactly. That should. Are you willing you to put a no, gun in your head? No, they can still have sex. They can still die from herpes. No, they can still die from herpes. No, it's just it will never. It's just an irritant. It's just an irritant. If it's the season change, that's what I mean. Yeah, I gotta educate yourself on it. Specifically, it's too many things that can make you have right. an outbreak. You change your fucking lotion, my nigga, yeah, and you I can have an outbreak. That. Like, that. that's like, I can't even take that risk. I would not, I mean, you're an attractive guy, you're an attractive person. As a person, yes, but the disease that you have restrains me. Like, I can't do that. I you, Like, no, it's too many things that can, the season change, outbreak, can't fuck you, can't kiss you, can't do anything. I don't right. even like being in an elevator with smelly people. So Exactly, right. so there we go. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. A lot of these fitness models that you see on Instagram, that all they do is like live this healthy life. There's a reason why yeah. most of the times they were triggered by something. They met, they probably got herpes, and now they want to live this healthy okay. life. They go to the gym. They look fine. Their body's beautiful. They eat healthy, but they have herpes, and they trying to right. live. That's this cool. Pure White people life. got Christian mingle. Black people got black pine. <laughs> herpes people got herpes meat. Black people got yeah. yeah, black people got herpes. Black planet. Black planet. Yeah. Black planet. Yeah. That's your old school fuck. But still, like, you know what I'm saying? They got herpes meat or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, you would want to feel comfortable. You know what I mean? Like, for me personally, I wouldn't feel comfortable in that situation. Right. right. I wouldn't. I would be freaking out. Like, is yeah. it this time? Is it that time? That like, shit could be. That could be right. emotionally draining. And what if she, you get what what that person get mad at you because they feel like you might about to leave them and they give you that shit? Yeah, they give like, that we shit. Like we stuck together. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, so that's what what is, Okay, let's say you're in a relationship with a guy mm. and you two know that you're both clean, and then out of nowhere somebody cheats and gets a STD. Now you've been with this person for years, and they cheat and they tell you, "Hey, babe, I got this STD." Are you going to be mad at that person? I mean, Hell you're going to be fucking yes. crazy, But are you going to break up with that person that you've shared a bond with, you slept with, ate with? <laughs> that is your health. It's like, you don't violate me twice. But you already a- cheated on me and then you gave me something. And you gave me something? So, but if you like, catch the disease too, are you going to break up with that person? Because now you have this disease. And this person has a disease, and it's gonna be really hard trying to come to a new person saying, "Yeah, I got this disease," mm-hmm. and then ain't nobody gonna wanna be with you because you have this. Mm-hmm. So, are you gonna stick with that person, or are you gonna say, "Fuck it, I'll get rid of this disease if it's curable." If it's and not curable, I got you. But it, I would be so mad. 
have given you HIV. So if somebody gave you yeah, HIV, you would want to kill me, no. right? No, I'd be listen. so mad that I wouldn't even wor- waste my time being petty. I'd just fuck this shit. Give me the closest bag. I'm out of here. <laughs> Keep the toothbrushes, keep all that shit. Fuck that. I'm yeah. dying alone. Fuck that. I was like, I'm saying, I mean, if y'all in this together, y'all well, she this I was like, there's a lady on Facebook, she was crying, she had a bunch of kids because her uh, baby daddy gave her HIV. Mm-hmm. And she's in a situation where she's like, damn, we've been together all this time, and now she's single, and there can't nobody date her because she got HIV. HIV. Should she forgive him? The man's sorry. He's so sorry. He want her. Should she forgive him and be with him? Cause he got it and now she got it and she can't date anybody else. So what would you do if a woman gave you HIV and she was sorry and you can't just go out there and freely date cause you got HIV? Would you stick with her? Oh, no. What would you do? do with who, who you would, you? but it's um. not about the, I mean, after you get mad, get over the mad part, mm-hmm. like, ah, I'm so pissed at you. And then you think about all the times where you were just like, oh my God. I Personally, I, I know what I remind me of a couple when I was a kid in Battle Creek, Michigan. Uh, a man gave this woman HIV and they stayed together. Mm. And the, they ended up getting full-blown AIDS. Yeah, because they're making they're reinfecting each other. And they the died. Oh. But yeah, I, I mean, they, they died together, Bonnie and Clyde. But That's they were true. white. Like every, <laughs> like every couple I know, I mean, or every what person... Like, why does that matter? No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Like, it's not that. It's like y'all reinforcing this like it's a fucking love story. No, <laughs> yeah. but it he is, cheated. Though. He brought this dirty ass thing home. Fuck that shit. No, no. I would, I would, don't um, say dirty I would ass leave. thing because would some leave. people are born with HIV and then they. But they're not, they didn't have a choice. A, they didn't have a choice. They, okay, okay. What if somebody was born with? I what if, no what if somebody was born with HIV? Are you still gonna be like? We're not compatible. I that's like, it's a, that's a relationship thing. You can tell. Like that's something that they just randomly do. Like I can tell. Like that's yeah, that see you stuff. later. Like, like I love you. I love stuff like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I just couldn't do that. Me and Frank got this keychild. out. Like if I be like keychild, out, he'll be all the way in the back room. Keychild. out. All right, it's y'all's turn to ask a question yeah. next, right? Okay. Yeah, oh, are we ready? Anyway. Oh, is the camera rolling? Right. They just got to I really hope you can edit that part out yeah, when I say Before we get to the next question, I just got one last thing to say. I'm going to leave it alone. That last question, y'all know that's just more than just cheating, right? That's like attempted murder. I just oh, want to hey, throw that out there. It really is. I just want to throw they, that out if there. They like, know, if, if they, they know, know, if they didn't if know. They know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They but brought if, her in. But if they don't know that they have it, it's You not. know you got something weird going on with your body. <laughs> you do, exactly. You, you know, know when that, that was hot. You know that. You, you wake up in the middle of the night. I got a bump in the back of my neck. Like. What do you mean? Hold up, bumps. Where no, I'm just saying like the little things. Oh, I don't think so. All right. Could you accept your significant other telling you that he wants to be a stay-at-home dad and you go out there and be the breadwinner? I would accept Could it. You accept for it? me personally, it. it depends on if I'm in the career that I want. Like, if I'm doing my career that I've been dreaming of since I was a child, like I want to be an actress. Everybody know that. And I'm making this money and I'm happy and damn right, junk can sit at home with the kids, I'll be so happy. <laughs> but if I'm working a job, if I'm in a warehouse and I'm busting my ass and he wanna be a stay at home dad, I don't think so. Mm-hmm. You gonna get out here and you gonna work Very even strong. harder than I am because your body is made stronger than mine. You're mentally stronger, you're physically stronger. You think I'm gonna be breaking my back? Why are you chilling at home with the kids? No. So I'm at work, so if I'm working at a warehouse. I'm getting depressed. I'm getting anxious. I don't want to be there. And man, talking about he's gonna be kicking it at home. I don't think so. But if I'm in my career and I'm happy, I'm enjoying my life. If you want to be a stay-at-home dad, go right ahead. I agree with that. I totally That's what agree. I would say. If I'm making buku money to support us and to support you to stay at home, and we need that support at home, like when the children are young, then yes, I would like. Okay, yeah, I'm making seventy because there are also years. benefits to that. Like yeah. you don't have to hire a babysitter. You don't have to worry about. Things being clean, yeah. like you don't have to worry about cooking dinner when you get home. You just right. yeah, I made all the things at the house, kick and I'm making I'm playing the security. Exactly, I don't have to worry about it. My babysitter whooping my kids. I ain't gotta worry about none of that. You know, I ain't gotta worry about they still in my house. I ain't worry about nothing. Cause guess what? I have a trusted steed home waiting for its master. I mean, not its master, waiting for its queen to come home. <laughs> <laughs> I Woody, think but I got a flip side of that though. Okay. Let me get. It seems like women get real disrespectful towards guys in those positions, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's disrespectful I mean, because you feel that. like the, your man is supposed to be your protector. And I feel like by me going out here working, I'm protecting you. Yeah, because yeah, I'm making the money to take care of you. I'm protecting you. Going. 
So yeah. it just kind of it, it kind of makes you look down on them. Like, okay, I'm the strong one. You know what I'm saying? I'm the man. You. you well, you the actor making all the money. Actress and making all the money with. I mean, it depends on what he's doing. If I come home and like I know with my man, he's not going. If he's sitting at home, he's going to be productive anyway. He's going to be you know right. editing, making. He's going to be doing something. But if I got a nigga that's sitting at home doing nothing, chilling, right. I'm just gonna really like lose all respect for you because exactly. I'm like, bruh. Yeah. That's why I say it has to be well, hand to hand. It has to support that. You yeah, know what I mean, and, it has, and then the and need. my needs, but also. the need has to be there. I got a question there. for y'all. You can't just be laying at home doing nothing with the kids. I need, I need seventeen. Right. You, you better know. be fixing some stuff. You better be. That's fine. We can talk real fast. So, you better be fixing some stuff. You better be uh cleaning out them gutters. I just got. I don't have to worry about nothing. Go ahead, y'all gonna cut the grass. Since, you know, guys now, you know, they got to provide and still cut the grass. So no, that's, what grass. You, that's why you're at home. That's why you're taking no, you care of the other way. I'm going to watch you got to cut some damn grass now. Give me the ride on my or give me the money. Oh, the the one. one question. Would you date a woman... Who just smoke weed all the time? Is that no. attractive? No. Why not? Why not? Why no. not? Women date men who smoke weed all the time. That's what bums do. Bums do not smoke no. all the time. I, I smoke, smoke weed all the time, and I'm definitely not a bum. Yeah. <laughs> you sure you want to say that? I can say that. I just said you there too. Okay, but I can say I smoke weed in Cali. What are you saying? I smoke you weed all smoke the time. Weed in Georgia. You can smoke weed in Cali. All right. That's you can smoke weed in Cali. That is it. Next time on airplane mode, you gotta do the covers and stuff later. <laughs> oh my god, are you stuck? All your 32 t shirt. <laughs> right. How do y'all think? Can we finish this conversation <laughs> even off camera? Because I really want to talk about this. Yeah, I mean, so I just feel like shit, that's what we want to do. We want to hear man trying to smash the shit at home. I feel like the weed man be trying to I smash it. No, smoke it consecutively. Like, I would if I could still. Oh, you would if you so could still. I, I, smoke weed. I smoke weed consecutively. Heaven, yeah. I apologize for all that annoying, screechy sound noise. We was having some difficulties with the camera. Please stay tuned for another episode of Airplane, Airplane Mode. Mode. And don't forget to subscribe. Airplane, Airplane Mode. Mode. Oh, yeah, and please leave your comments below. Don't text my phone with your comments. Leave it on my page.